stay all over me, don't be shy, take control of me, get the vibe, we're gonna be lit tonight. Baby girl, you give me attention and fatness, give me some of that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Monique Jaga. I really appreciate uh, your love and your support and thank you very much for this far. It's just because of your support. I really love you all and uh, today I have some tricks, nine tricks to be the most charming person in the room. Nine tricks to be the most charming person in the room. And I'll speak a little bit of French as usual for my French subscribers. Bonjour mes abonnés français, bienvenue à ma chaîne. Aujourd'hui on va parler de 9 euh, choses pour être le, la plus charmante personne dans le monde. So, for today's topic, I'm really excited to do it for you because uh, we are learning uh, nine tricks. I have my books here, I have my book, my notebook where I document and I write all the tips that uh, I have to give you, okay? So if you see me looking down, it's because I have to check some points that I don't want to forget everything to tell you, okay? So today's nine tricks to be the most charming person in the room, okay? So the characteristics of being the most charming person in the room. This we need everywhere. Everywhere you are, in your workplace, in your home, uh, in the in the streets, you need to be the most charming person and uh, I have some tricks for that, okay? So if you have a pen, a bit long, light some, some points and uh, if you're, you have, you are, you're drinking something, grab your drink and uh, let's do this, okay? So my first trick today is that you are not be afraid, okay? Don't be afraid to lose. That's the point, the first point of today to be the the most charming person in the room don't be afraid okay so don't uh, don't try to win everything uh, everything that you're doing don't try to win it's good to make mistake and uh, we learn by mistake yeah so not 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 trying to to win in everything okay so don't mind if you lose and uh, you, you're not afraid to lose okay that's the first point and and in the same point uh the charming people doesn't it's not difficult to admit their mistake it's not difficult to admit the mistake that you're doing and it's good to talk about you even your weaknesses and uh, you can tell the, that the person next to you that you don't know how to do that and this to make and the person next to you appreciate your honest and uh, the little emotions okay it's not uh, it's not bad to explain your weaknesses. That's the first point. The second point uh, we are learning today is uh, to show the grad that you meet when you meet the people next to you. Okay, so the charming person they show the, they are glad to meet you. So they are mean. people who are charismatic know this for sure. Okay. They smile, they smile when you smile, you focus on what you are saying and uh, to be careful, paying attention to all your emotions and words, okay? So that's very important to be focused when someone is having conversation with you. It's good to be focused and pay attention to all your emotions and words, okay? So by doing this, it will help you find common ground and gain the trust so when you when you when you are focused and uh, you listen carefully all the, the the person next to you this will make and help you find uh, the common ground and gain trust the third point is that uh, uh, most charming person look for the mature understanding look for the mutual understanding uh, most people uh, always look for contradictions and cautiously they look for, for disagreement which can lead to dispute rather than conversation, okay? Make sure that you are looking for mutual understanding. Just try to find some things that are common with them, the person with, next to you, yeah? Just uh, try to get some common things that you have with them, okay? 
it will help you uh, start an interesting conversation and it creates a positive impression okay so make sure that you you are looking for a mutual understanding okay and the fourth point today uh they are for the charm, uh, most charming person do they look with po uh, the power of touch touch is a powerful tool that helps people understand their emotions better okay so the expression you can express uh, yourself by uh, your feelings depends on the situation that you are you could either shake hands or pat someone's back okay it helps show how sincere your words are and express the light feelings okay so make sure that you are using the power of touch that's the fourth point yeah they, they use the power of touch the fifth point is they know how to use facial expressions and gesture okay they know how to use the facial expression and gesture so the charming people express their feeling incredibly well and accurately they show the light moods for their stories okay so make sure that the, you you have a facial expression and gesture in uh, in everything that you're doing okay in the conversation that you're having in, with the person next to you and uh, this is the fifth point sixth point that seems trick today to be the most charming person is don't be afraid to look silly yeah you can be silly and awkward don't be afraid okay it's, uh, it's uh, curious enough people understand you and uh, instead of laughing at you they laugh with you okay so it's don't be afraid to be serious yeah? if you if there's something that you dropped you know sometimes when you're you're discussing with someone you can you can drop something or do some uh, awkward uh, be in an awkward situation don't be serious don't don't be afraid okay so that's uh, even then the person next to you you see that and uh, they will not laugh at you they will laugh with you number seven the the most charming person do in the conversation they they don't they are very good in asking questions okay so they don't hesitate to ask question and talk openly about themselves don't be afraid to to ask questions yeah you remember we learn by asking question by learning after a mistake so make sure that the seven point is don't be afraid to ask questions and talk openly about yourself uh, as well the und number eight and this is very interesting is always remember names when a person when a yeah when, when you you met you meet someone for the first time they will discuss about you but when you meet that person the next time uh just try to remember the name his name because when you call that person by his name it feels important in his life okay so so number eight we say is always remember names uh, of the person on the conversation okay so when you meet someone for the first time so when you meet that person the next time please remember to his names remember the the conversation that you had last last three and uh, if you remember the uh, the names of the relatives the pets that make that person feel very important in the conversation so that's the eighth point okay always remember names and the ninth point of today are the, is that you listen more than you talk okay this is very important so when you are in the conversation it's better to listen more and talk less and uh, yes uh, you can admit that it's, it's a good feeling when you tell a story and notice that everyone is listening so love listening than talking that's how the that's how you learn more interesting details about the person and find some common uh, the common ground with that person okay so try to listen to their problems and understand their needs and if you manage to do so they will never forget you okay so these are nine tips 
are tricks that uh, you can do to be the most charming person in the room okay so thank you very much for your support i really appreciate don't forget that i always appreciate each one of you and uh, for, for this far it's just because of you okay so thank you very much and uh, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe to this channel it's a channel of sharing and caring and i'm here to to learn to let's learn together document all the healthy things that we can do in our lives to make us the best version of ourselves okay so thank you very much and till the next one bye